Hey guys, Dr. Stavros here. I want to show you why my students pass with my techniques and my strategies. Ready? I tell you all last three lines for a reason. If you read the last three lines, you find out specific details that are usually hidden in those three lines. Lab findings, your analysis, imaging studies, and so on. I'll show you with an example that if you read from the bottom top, you'll get the points. If you read from the bo top bottom, not only will you waste time, but you might jump the gun and eventually get the wrong answer because you didn't read the whole scenario in full. Ready? Let's. I'll show you this. Last three lines. Lab studies show hemoglobin, A3, low. Leukocyte, 81,000. Don't worry about it. Labs are here. That's very high. 4,500 to 11,000. Don't memorize the labs. You'll get them on the exam. Platelets, low, 150 to 400,000 typically, right? Okay, labs are here, fine. Here's where we go. Smear, immature cells with large prominent nucleoli and pink elongated needle-shaped cytoplasmic inclusions, aka hour rods. You need to know both names, not just the given name, but the specific description because the US Assembly loves to give you not the easy name, but the other name. What's the diagnosis? So we have imaging, we have lab studies, we have smears. Okay, go to the top now. A 67 year old man. If we just read from the top bottom, we would think, well, look at the answer choices. We have CLL, ALL, AML. So these are usually provided in many ways, present differently. Some are used in some age brackets, like ALL is usually in the youth, three to five years old. We see CLL. I'm familiar with CLL, that's usually in the elderly. If I just jump the gun, hit this, I'd get it wrong. That's why we have to be very, very careful. If the 67-year-old man comes to you uh, for two-month history of generalized fatigue, pale, multiple pinpoint, red, non-blanching spots on extremities, yada, 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 spleen is enlarged. So reading the whole thing now from the bottom top, you have lab studies, you have our rods, uh, and you have age with presentation. Knowing that there's hour rods here, CLL is impossible because CLL presents with smudge cells. Ideally, going top to bottom, you eliminate the rest. ALL is in the youth. This is an older male. This is out. Hairy cell, that's trap. Doesn't present this way. This is out. From the remaining answers, A, D, and E, there's only one that has hour rods. Boom, there's your answer. 80%, yes, that's easy, but be careful. This is a quick presentation that if you go top to bottom, not only can you jump and you actually are really, really fast and choose the wrong answer, like you would have answered this one, and B, you need to read the last three lines because there's a lot of information there, findings, x-ray findings, your analysis, pertinent information that's gonna allow you enough leverage to get to the right answer, all right? So keep watching these videos. If you want more videos like these, all you gotta do is join my QBank video library where I upload videos like this for you in greater detail, showing you basic sciences and actually building your basic science foundation, but also teaching you the way to get points, to leverage yourself on the exam, to pass your assembly and move on, all right? See you on the next video.